Hey, welcome to a new lesson. So let's continue creating our motion graphic for the Minimal Studio logo. So, so far we did all this, but now we're going to create these wavy lines. Look at how they are building itself. They just don't they don't just appear out of nowhere, but they they are like drawing themselves. So that's a cool effect and I'm going to teach you how to accomplish that. But first I will do the, that not on the main composition but here in on a new composition because I want to show you about the trim path. So I'm going to create a shape layer. You can either go to new shape layer or just grab your ellipse tool. I'm going to create an ellipse here whatever size and let's set the the fill to none here and the stroke let's use a yellow like this one so right now you can see all the contents for the ellipse now you have the ellipse path the stroke the fill and the transform settings but if we go to the add bottom and set this trim path this is what's going to happen. Let's open the trim path right now. Right now, nothing's happening, of course, but it has some animation here. So if I move 10 frames and I set the end here with the keyframe, and then you can see the end is 10 is 100%. And then I go to the beginning and change the from 100% to 0%. What I have now is that this circle, this ellipse that I created, will draw itself because the software is looking at this 100% that which means that the end of the shape is this one and the beginning is 0% so it will draw the circle of course I can move the circle far as far as I want and of course this will take longer to get to the 100 percent so this is a very nice effect that we have here on after effects this is called the trim path effect we can use this for a lot of uh, stuff for example for what i'm about to use it for th that is to create the wavy lines and of course this doesn't have to be only with this uh, kind of shapes we can create a star for example and create a trim path and let's set the end here on one second and then the end on zero percent here and this star will draw itself so this is a pretty cool effect so let me open again our main comp and as uh, you are about to see this trim path can be can also be applied to some vector files so how do uh, we apply this to a vector file of course we have to use the option that we have used several times this time create shapes from vector layer so I'm going to move these wavy lines all the way to the top so that I can work better with them let me change the color to a green maybe and now let's begin with this wavy line one I'm going to right click on the wavy line layer and select create shapes from vector layer so now I have this vector file which is with this a shape and now I will open the settings for this I will open the contents and I'm going to add the trim path effect now don't pay attention to the time of on our timeline because later we will move this layer of course but go to the beginning of the animation let's zoom in and let's select open the trim path and go to the first second and click on the end stopwatch now go to the beginning and change this to 0% so what will happen is that the draw the line will draw itself
So this is nice. One second is more than enough. So what is happening right now is that it's beginning from left to the right. So I want this to be from the right to the left. If I want to do that, all I have to do is to go to the settings and here on path you can see these arrows here. You can see that it says reverse path direction off, reverse path direction on. If I turn this I will reverse the direction uh, that the path is go getting drawn. So you can see that now it's from the right to the left, exactly as I want it. Now, one thing is that this shape is it has a, a, a color that I don't want to use. Right now it's a gray color. So I have to select this shape and click on the stroke color and with the eye drop I will take this color, the purple color. Now click OK and now you can see that this looks better now. We can make them a little less shiny like this and now I have a line drawn itself. Now let's create the same effect for this other one. You can get rid of this layer right now because we won't use it anymore. And grab your wavy line tool, right click on it, and select create shapes from vector layer. Okay, now we have wavy line two outlines, and we will repeat the same process. Open your settings, add a trim path. Now set the trim path and here on the first second and then on the zero second turn this into zero percent so that way it will draw itself so in this case we won't need to reverse the path direction because it's from the left to the right and this works right now now take your shape layer and change the stroke to a pink color like this one. Perfect. Now let's zoom out a little bit. See how they look. Okay, they look good, but they are way out of time. They should be start to appearing by this point right when right when the black dots appear. So this should be the point right here when the dots settle and then we have the letters animation we should see the wavy lines appear so I will move these layers with the closing bracket to this point so that way when I hit play you can see that they start appearing right on that point now they start at the same time and I don't like that I want it to be this one to start later so I'm going to move it a little bit so that they start in different times okay so that's it for the trim path lesson you can see how it is how easy it is and how cool it looks on the motion design Remember that we can do the same with any shape that we want if we want if we have something uh complicated complex if a file from illustrator maybe a very complex path we can create the same process we can just select the file and create shapes from, from vector layers and apply the trim path and it will look good probably so make sure that you play around with this trim path option now let's go to the next lesson to continue with this motion design